Hey guys, it is story time. So grab a little drink, grab a little snacky. I am drinking a press blackberry hibiscus. So let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, so pretty much everybody knows what a party room in a restaurant is. At least if you go to a bigger restaurant, you've seen them. They're usually divided by like glass doors or like a glass wall. Sometimes they're enclosed in with like just walls that are not see. <laughs> Anyways, that's what a party room, an exclusive private party room usually is in a restaurant. And a lot of newer restaurants, some older restaurants, they have that. So a couple walks in and they get sat adjacent to the party room. So I go to greet them and the lady says to me, What is this that they're doing here? What is that? And I looked at her and I said, oh, it's it's our new party room. We just barely got done building it. Um, that's where like all our private parties can go. If they want to just feel like a little bit more exclusive and they necessarily don't want like the sound of the whole restaurant, that's where they can go. And she says, is that wall permanent? Excuse me? I know. I know she knows that that wall is brand new because I have seen her in the restaurant multiple times. I know it. I know she knows it. So I just looked at her and I said, uh, you, yeah, yeah, the tile wall with the pretty gold flakes and the the new glass doors, though that's that's permanent. Bruh. She says to me, Ugh, I just don't like it. I don't like the vibe this place is turning into. It used to be so cute. The vibe used to be so great, and now it's just going downhill. And so I proceeded to say to her, Well, you know, I understand things look a little like out of place right now because we're remodeling in sections because it's very expensive to close a restaurant down for several months um to remodel it's easier just to remodel in sections if you can make it work and i said you know and then i proceed to explain to her how we're tearing out our bar and we're, we're we're completely like reshaping the design of it and we're putting in new drains and we're doing all these really great things for the restaurant because really whoever built it didn't do a good job with the drains, especially behind the bar because it is a nightmare because drains suck. Anyways, so I just said to her, you know, like I kind of explained some of the things that we were doing and I said, just trust the process. It's going to be so beautiful when it's done. I personally love the gold tile. I think it's very pretty. So they order their drinks and they order our nachos. Now hold up just a second. Our nachos are delicious. Okay. They are so so, so good. So good. We fry the chips up in house. We make our own guacamole. We make our own um, pepper jack cheese sauce. We cook the beans up in house. You're not getting like canned beans. Like we le legit like simmer them for hours. Okay. Um, we make our own pico de gallo, which is so good. I mean, like there is a difference between these homemade items that you're making in the restaurant versus ones that you're getting shipped in from Cisco. Okay, okay. Also, also we make the best red salsa. It is so freaking delicious. It does not come on the nachos and I think it should, but delicious. So, oh yeah, and then sour cream on top of that too. Very delicious, you can add some tasty protein to it. Um, but anyways, so we get the nachos. So I bring the nachos out to them, drop them off, come back and check on them a few times in between my other tables. And then the final time I checked on them, they said they did not want any dessert. They just wanted a little snack, so they're ready for their bill. So I bring them their bill, cash them out, and as I'm bringing back the slip for them to sign, like the final like, okay, see you guys later, I set down the copy of the credit card slip, and I say, hey, thanks so much for coming in. We really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. So as I'm getting ready to like exit said table, she says, hey, I just wanted to tell you something real quick which kind of threw me off because it was the tone of like, I'm here to b about something, but she didn't tell me the entire time she was there over the four to five times I checked on them over their nachos that there was a problem. So I said, okay, a little puzzled. And she says to me, those were not nachos. Whatever what that was that you served me, those were not nachos. If you, if you were to serve those to somebody in or from Wisconsin, they would get thrown in your face. Yeah! Thrown in your face. Emotional damage. So I'm puzzled because like literally no complaints. And I look down at the tray 
where the chips were because they ate every last one and just said, I'm just a little confused. I like, I wish you would have told me. I would have been happy to get you something else. I'm really sorry you didn't like them. She proceeds to tell me, yeah, the only reason we ate these is because we were hungry. We have other food in the restaurant that takes under five minutes to make, under 10 minutes to make. It's not that busy right now. I could have made you something else. So I just said, oh, okay. Well, I'll just take this tray out of your way then. I didn't know what else to do. And I said, well, I'm just, I'm really sorry. You just didn't tell me. And she said, proceeds to tell me about how like her daughter used to work at one of her other locations and like the vibe of everything is just going downhill. And then she says to me, I know you didn't make the nachos. I know it's not your fault. I just want you to pass along the message. What the heck? So you want me to go tell my cooks who were just making something off of the recipes that they were given that if I was to serve these to some people from Wisconsin, that they would get thrown in their face. By the way, the cheese that we use, that we melt into the delicious sauce that everybody that comes to the restaurant is obsessed with, is like a national winning cheese. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's a national winning cheese. I know you're from Wisconsin, but this cheese has kicked some of your cheeses out. And I know that for a fact. So, I just looked at her and I said, okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Sure, I'll let them know. I just, I don't, I don't understand. It's, I don't, did she want cheese whiz on her nachos? Did she want fake meat on her nachos? Maybe, maybe she's used to Taco Bell nachos. No offense, they are delicious, but, but, I'm just saying. Maybe she's used to gas station nachos. I don't really know what, how she proceeds to tell me that these were not nachos. Am I missing something? Is there like an order or a specific, like, are we only allowed to make nachos one way? Are you gonna put restrictions on how my nachos are made? Are you gonna start restricting nachos now too? That's what I wanted to say.